you know, guys, recently somebody was asking me if Wicca uh, can be eclectic, and, you know, several things came to mind. Um, first of all, the fact that, you know, actually it already is, because uh, the guy who invented Wicca, Gerald Gardner, you know, he didn't really just put together his tradition out of um, old witchcraft ideas. And in fact, uh, his story that he had encountered a coven is even disputed. We don't know if that's exactly what really happened, but um, whatever witchcraft knowledge he had gathered, it was clear that he had also cobbled it together with some occult knowledge uh, from some of the occultists of the day. Uh, he, he had actually been working with Aleister Crowley and was the head of the ODO uh, with him prior to breaking with that and then uh, leaving and starting his own thing. So it already actually is pretty eclectic. Uh, some other points I was thinking of though really, you know, there's always more than one way to complete a task, okay? Um, really you should always pay attention to things that you're drawn to because you got to consider that even if it's something that sort of seems out of place but it feels right to you you got to consider that it might not be something from your like immediate family lineage let's say but it might be something uh, from one of your past lives and consider your past lives consider all the places that you might have lived all the people you might have been different colors even a different gender all sorts of weird things so you gotta kinda have an open mind to these things um, you know at, there's a lot of different uh, traditions a lot of different forms of paganism a lot of different religions and spiritual paths um, but there's some things that never change uh, some of you may remember from my first book the last chapter called the underlying theme where I kinda wrote a little bit about it but um, certain things do not change the divine doesn't change um, your higher self doesn't change. The various planes with all their various levels of vibrations up and down don't change. The way that we perceive them can change a lot. Um, can vary a lot. Okay? It's like the old uh, adage of uh, a bunch of blind people poking at an elephant and they discover different parts. and. They each think the different part is the elephant, but it's really just different parts of the elephant. So, in short, yes, absolutely, um, you're free to practice any way that you want, actually, and it can be very, very eclectic. And that's all.